Hello everyone, my name is the Ember Knight, or Ember for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back, well, sorry, welcome to a game called Metamorphosis. Now, I'm wanting to try out a new way of recording, well, not recording, sorry, I want to try out a new formula, well, a tweaked formula. Um, I want to do free game demos, see how that goes with you. Um, see, I've got three games. I'm gonna... One, record them. Two, review them. Well, sorry, two, play them, and then three, review them after every one. So, yeah, let's get into it. Starting off with Metamorphosis. Yes, my account is on the There's the music. I'm doing badly, I'm doing well, whichever you prefer. This looks really cool. Where am I? What's this painting? Right, I'm a Joseph's. What a night. Quite a celebration. Happy birthday, my friend. Though, one drink too many. I'll check with Joseph and then I'm off to work. Ah, my poor head. Ah. Dear Mr. Gregor, the key is in one of the drawers. Here it is. First try, baby. The visuals are quite nice. But this game, um, from what I've seen on the screenshots, you play as a bug and as someone who absolutely loves nature, this like really That's stuck out odd. I've been many times at Joseph's, but I've never seen this corridor before. The photographs seem very familiar though. Joseph lost his luggage, so he didn't make it on board. Okay. Oh, why is he keeping all these photographs? What even is that? Oh, I see the I see the human mouth here and the nose and the eye. Still no idea what I'm looking at though. Oh well. What's that? This room is bizarre. What's with this furniture? Hmm. I can't even reach the door handle. Hardy ha ha. What a hilarious prank, Joseph. Okay, batteries are low, so I'm going to sort that out. Oh, it's just typical. No, I'm not going to adjust the camera or anything. I'm going to assume it's still on me. I don't have a proper key. Of course not. If I don't go out soon, I'll be late for work. Oh, shit. Let's try this way. Another letter? Dear Miss, Mr. Samza, as things stand, the location of the key remains an unsolved mystery. Reaching the door handle might seem somewhat difficult, but we are confident you are up to the task. You, we hope you have what it takes to get to the tower. Ah. Maybe I'm an experiment. Lip books here. Yeah, maybe I'm an experiment for them. A ventilation hole? How on earth do I fit in here? These aren't the legs I'm used to. I know this sounds ludicrous, but can it be that I'm a, a bug? All right, stay calm. Let's oh, find cool. Jazz and that. move on from there. Oh, 
Oh, cool. All right, huh? Focus. You don't want to fall from this high up. Oh my god, that's so cool. What a clutter. I think there is something on the table. Oh, cool. So I think I'm definitely going to experiment. Run, run, run. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's fun. Well, if you're truly a bug, you can get up there. Oh, yeah. Alma Wister. Ah, <sighs> made it. Sticky, oh. Although. This liquid should help me climb up. Oh, man. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, what am I actually sticking on, by the way? No idea. I thought this would have been a natural ability of a bug like to be able to climb, but oh well. What is this? Oop. I'm guessing that's a checkpoint or something. God, this is so weird, but I love it. Oh, I should read the letter. Yeah, of course, I was gonna. Dear Mr. Samza, as we realize in what a sorry state you currently find yourself in, we would like to offer you an opportunity to come and work with us at the tower in order to start your recruitment process. Please follow our simple good. What in the? Seem like quite basic gameplay, but God, I love that. I really look forward to the, to that releasing. Like, you don't see many games where you're a tiny, you're a tiny little like. Oh, how do I put it? Like, you're tiny, and then like you're in a big environment. Like, I mean, there's been grounded. There's an upcoming ant game, which I will be recording. And then that's this, as far as I'm aware, but God, uh, that was awesome. I can't wait to see when it comes out, well, when it fully comes out. Um, but yeah, on to the next game. So, as the last game did not work, um, we're gonna go into the Inquisitor. 
This is obviously another demo. Um, I don't know much about it. I'm pretty sure it's a Souls like. So I really love. I absolutely love my Souls like. It's like it's my top genre. But um, we're gonna get straight into it. Welcome to our demo, Inquisitor. Enter the city of Konigstein. My first one, dip into the abyss of humanity and dark mystery. To you, a dedicated Inquisitor, in God's service, our task is to reveal it. This demo of the Inquisitor throws you straight into the marker, market of the city. There you'll begin your mission and experience several major features and investigations of the game. As well as the first combat in Cotton, there's a tournament to be won and tough questions to be asked. What are you waiting for? Enjoyed. So you can buy it, I don't know when it comes out though. But we'll see what it's like first. They thought they had Christ in their grasp. They thought they could do with him as they pleased. Thus did they mutilate him and nail him to the cross. They laughed as he promised his vengeance would fall upon them. But he stayed true to his words. The earth they trod upon ran red with blood. The cities they resided in were engulfed by flames. Having witnessed their defeat, they hid amidst the faithful. They thought they would be safe. They were mistaken. Ever steadfast inquisitors, Masters at discerning subtleties and signs followed their trail. With the words of the scripture, did they convert the heretics? With fire, did they cleanse the witches? By their hands were the deceitful vampires impaled. In the name of Christ, and for his eternal glory! I knew that was gonna happen. I had a feeling there'd be something. So, it's based around Jesus, I'm pretty sure. That's what I could understand. I think that's me there. Welcome oh, yeah, to Königstein, Master Inquisitor. My name's Bertram, the Guard Captain. Mortimer Maladeen, licensed inquisitor, in service to the Bishop of Hez Hazram. The Holy Office informed us of your arrival. I must admit that I'm surprised by the purpose of this visit. I don't believe there's a vampire lurking in Königstein. There hasn't been a recorded sighting of one in these parts for what must have been a century. That doesn't mean there isn't one here. Fair enough. That's why my men and I will do our best to assist you. As far as we are able to, of course. Thank you, Captain. I'm just following the Mayor's orders, so it's him you should be thanking, not me. If you wish to express your gratitude personally, go to the fair. He's attempting to raise funds there today. My men will show you the way. Now, please excuse me. I need to check on the outposts at the other gates. You were right. He's an Inquisitor. I told you. I spotted the Inquisitor's insignia right away. Only they can wear those. Bloody not catch her. <laughs> Quiet, fool. Or you'll bring trouble on our heads. This could be a fight. Ooh. Let's see what the combat's like. What did you call me? Uh, uh, 
He meant no offense, Master. He doesn't think that at all. Don't play me for a fool. Your commander will hear of this. He will administer your punishment. Don't do it, Master. The captain will throw me out of the guard. I beg you. Have mercy. Why, isn't today a celebration of Christ triumphant? Are you tempting an Inquisitor into committing the sin of mercy? Please. I'll do anything for you. Anything? I swear by the broken cross. The captain mentioned there's a fair currently being held in town. Where exactly? In the town square. You can't miss it, Master. But be wary of ruffians. And sons of whores are always lurking in the stands. Maybe I should have just like went straight to find out where the fair was. I'll find you. Should the need arise. Then we shall see the value of your oath. On this day we celebrate Christ's triumph at the annual fair for which Clorenstein is famous, being held in the market square. I'd gladly stop by to find out if it's true as it as those folks say. I should always use this I should also use this opportunity to have a chat with an air. Use prayer to see places and objects that are interested. Prayer will lead you by casting the moonlight. Okay. I must say the visuals Although, what some might call not the greatest, they're not as bad. Replenish your prayer energy. Christ who is vengeful. Fill my heart with the desire for vengeance. Oh, nice uh, oh, oh, things over here. Yeah, something tells me this is an indie game, hence why it's not. Like, it doesn't have the. Well, up to like, date visuals. But there's one thing about me graphics don't matter to me. Christ probably could go out of prayer. However, one shouldn't ignore an opportunity for a conversation with God when faced with such. Oh, I'm about to talk to these two. This kid is fast. He dashed there. Thank you. What is it in kids and games? Being like the most speediest little bastard ever that steals stuff off you. Then it always leads you to like a big fight with a bunch of people. Like, um, Red Dead 2 did that, I'm not sure. Oh shit, where'd you go? That cursed hood got away. So be it. I'll get him some other time. No, you don't just. God damn it. Buy an 
we earn a rapid of way signs, you will learn where the main save points are. Okay, so I'm going to go to the market, right? So the market is... Up here. Like, I don't know what that kid stole. But, whatever it was, he's probably like long gone by now. As soon as you give another to the kid, that's it, that kid sold whatever you had on you. I thought that pig didn't have a head there. <laughs> Oh, very red dead town, I like. Wooden figure of Christ, large wooden figure of Christ, small. Oh, so they, they're just, um... Basically one angel per whatever they're selling. I thought those were like bottles of like whiskey, well not whiskey, like some kind of like liquid, Thank but you, Jesus, not, you not. For not letting me compromise in pursuit of the truth. Which oh. way is heavily religion based? You know, usually game food looks absolutely appetizing, but that's just that's not to nice all at all. daredevils who don't shy away from a challenge. A tournament is being held to win the favor of the queen of last year's Mama's Parade. The winner will have the honor of entertaining the beautiful Liliana during the Mama's Parade. Which will begin tomorrow after the Vespers service, as is customary. Anyone can try their luck. The entry fee is but one silver angel. Reach into your purses. The collected funds will go toward building a new monument to Christ triumphant. One majestic enough to eclipse that piece of trumpery from Schwebus. Schwebus. Well, well. <laughs> the Inquisitor himself graces us with his presence. I'm happy to see you, Master. I am Guido von Herzen, the town's mayor. It is nice to meet you, Mayor. Dude looks so sick of his life. What is your name, Master? Mortimer Matadim. Mortimer. I'll be sure to remember that. Emissaries of the Holy Office rarely visit us. I do hope that Captain Bertram gave you a proper welcome. He's a soldier through and through. He can come off as blunt and boorish, but I've yet to meet a better soldier. His behavior was befitting of a guard commander. He brought you no shame. Excellent. I'll gladly speak to you later, but now I must attend to a certain matter. And the tournament, of course. Oh. I only wish Not too to sure if that's popped up on the stream, but... Catching the vampire. If you truly wish to thank me, take part in the tournament. You'll be mixing business with pleasure. I shouldn't waste time on idle merriment. Although, since the monument to Christ Triumphant is at stake, add my name to the list. I'm so happy. The other contestants looked insufferably boring, but... You're something else. I noticed it immediately. Well, I'm far from ordinary. You'll be the king of the Mama's Parade, which necessitates that you wear the proper attire. Not far from here, there's a merchant who deals in fancy clothing. Buy a costume from him, even if it's only a mask. Meanwhile, I'll attend to my errands. I will see you later. Okay. 
Oh, so I've got to do a bunch of finally needle in hands. Oh, great. Participation in the tournament is voluntary. If you want to learn the mechanics of the game, find free places of competition. So you're the first. <laughs> Finally, an opponent. I was starting to put down roots. Why <laughs> attacks are fast and hard to dodge? Use them against slow enemies to gain advantage. Be careful, though, light attacks can be parried. Leave Mod me out of the opponent's tongue for a while. Block is helpful while being overwhelmed in need of a breather. Block will easily deal with light attacks, but blocking and heavy attack may leave modern me how the opponent's done. Good. You are supposed to guard. Excellent. Heavy attacks are slow, more deadly, yet easy to dodge. Use them against staggered enemies and slow enemies. Blocking and heavy attack may leave. Yep. So basically, everything just leaves Sucker one of a. Oh, putain! Oh. Pardon. Dodge attacks, something like that. Was that supposed to be a dodge? Excellent! Repeat that! Put down, bro, man. Like Bravo! Perfect parry is a powerful move that can leave the enemy stuck out in great number for further attacks. Yes, I'm pretty sure we all know how to parry. No, 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 no. Again! Again! Pathetic! <laughs> Dude's proper volley in his ear. Pathetic! Enough! Oh, pardon. Oh, pardon. Oh, pardon. I rarely meet my betters. You've given me a valuable lesson. Thank you. But that wasn't really much. That was just a combat tutorial. The pail seems heavy and unwindy, keeping it vertical. Oh wait, I can do the whole... Ruffian! He went there! He stole my purse! Little snot reeks of rotten fish. Get him! The hag must have bathed in perfume. Made me lose the scent. No, mind get her, I guess. It's not him. Let go. It hurts. Show me what's in your hand first. I saw you take it from a town person's car. It's just an apple. What's your name? And where are your parents? I'm Amelia. And my parents and siblings are dead. They all died two years ago from the plague of pox. So, who looks after you now? Nobody. I don't need anyone looking after me. I can look after myself. By stealing. I was hungry. You won't fill your belly with just anything. 
What are you gonna do with me? Hand me over to the guards? Uh, Give the apple back. That's just been nice to Just don't tell anyone you stole it. It would be better if you said it fell from his car. Off you go then. I need your fill. And these days, children just have to steal. It's the Inquisitor. Welcome, Master Inquisitor. How can I be of service? Inquisitor? Well, we're colleagues then. Name's Roland, Master Executioner. Yeah, I'd like to buy a mask for tomorrow's parade. Hold your horses there, Inquisitor. I was here first. Well, merchant, do you have any garb worthy of an executioner? For you, Master Executioner, I uh, have something special. Here are the mask and costume of the Merry Executioner from Tianon. The butcher who disappeared off the face of the earth a few years ago. He was a devil. So devils dragged him under. He sure to be dancing in hell as we speak. Poppycock! Piss off or I'll give you a good lashing. How did the mask of the there ain't no way that guy's of Tiana uh... find its way to a merchant's stand? Look at it, Inquisitor! Beautiful, isn't it? God, I can't stand you. I never expected a skinny guy to be a, an executioner. Like. Doesn't seem like. What did you dig up there, friend? since I've had a vision. Why would Christ decide to send me one now? What is it he wanted to tell me? <laughs> What's with you, Inquisitor? You seem at a loss for words. I bet you'd like to buy the costume of the Merry Executioner for yourself. Absolutely not. I was first. Damned headsman. He paid with gold he got from a convict on the scaffold. I saw the wretch put a coin in his hand, begging for one clean cut. What do you mean? Didn't it take him three swings to behead the man? The butcher revels in cruelty. Supposedly, he lost his position as royal executioner. You're better off taking your own life than letting him lay his mitts on you. From where did you get the mask and costume of the Merry Executioner from Tiananmen? I knew him, so I know that he considered the Jester costume a shameful symbol of degeneration and brutishness, which is why he hid it. No one knew where. I... bought it, Master. Don't lie, or you'll end up in the pillory. I'll tell you everything, my lord. Don't hurt me. An old lady sold it to me. One I met on the road leading through the woods. I saw her dog digging out the Merry Executioner's outfit. I'd seen the man many times in the past, so I immediately recognized the mask. I paid a fair price for it. Your words stink of lies. It was as I said. I swear. I'll get to the truth one way or another. I'll be back if I discover you played me for a fool. Praying that you uncover what is hidden behind the veil, those objects may be useful for you. 
Like, I'm not one to be looking into like quite other stuff. This looks like a dog's bedding. If memory serves, the old lady called it friend. It's worth a try. Friend! Shit! <laughs> is so bad, you don't have the strength to move! Leave it alone, brat. Our Lord treated less Please creatures don't. with love and respect. It'd be wise to do the same. Take it, sir. Please let me kill Pop this told guy. me to teach the dog discipline. I was only doing what he told me. Please let me. Yep, yeah, please let. Thank God. Honestly, I cannot stand people who hurt animals. Like. Even in games, they just. Hit them harder, man. You have to pick up the pail, move it to the end of the white line in a vertical position, and then place it in the hole that's been made there. If you drop the pail on your way there, you'll have to start again from the beginning. Okay, no. So he's carrying. For fuck's sake! Do not fret, Master. Try again. Oh, I thought it was like a hoop, like you had to carry over. Treasury must be empty if you have to raise funds personally. <laughs> no, Master Metadine, it's not as bad as that. The holiday tournament and fundraiser are simply old customs. Sadly, citizens of Königstein are beginning to suffer from poverty. There are fewer and fewer daredevils willing to join in the revelry. And this year, our goal is a lofty one indeed. However, I'm not certain if the funds we raise will be enough to achieve it. Surely the Cardinal will boast your finances. After all, we're talking about building a monument to Christ triumphant. Oh, I wish I could believe that. Unfortunately, His Eminence considers generosity on par with wastefulness. Hey, children, have you heard any rumors about a vampire? A vampire? What's that? It's a monster. Granny said it has long fangs and can fly. Andy likes to drink blood. What? Why blood? To, to live a long time. 
so maybe my grandpa is a vampire? He... he's got to be a hundred years old. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, bless her. Start eavesdropping, find a suitable target and focus on your sights. Did you see the milk jugs on Helga? Sure did. I've never seen bigger ones in my life. I hear she likes the hump, but only the Spanish way. What way is that? How should I know? I've never been to Spain. I bet you have to grab her by those jugs like a bull by the horns. What the fuck are you guys? Jesus you have haven't seen him. He was here a moment ago. Look, he even left some flour behind. Wow. I mean, I thought it was suspicious that the focus was on that beheaded? part of her. They say he pissed on his eminence's boots while drunk. It's good he didn't shit in them. Or they torture the poor bastard. What oh, a shit. lovely dog! What's it called? Oh. Friend. Oh. <laughs> friend. Stop it, friend. <laughs> Stop. He likes you. He's yours. Really? Take good care of him. Hear that, friend? Will you come with oh. me? Oh. Thank you. Let's go. I'm glad he's got a good heart. Okay, well, I think that's going to be all for the demo. Unfortunately, this episode is getting quite long. And I don't want these to be too long. Um, I didn't expect it to be this long, but... Um, yeah, on to the next game. Okay, sorry, I completely forgot to give an Inquisitor review. Um... It was it was a good game, but trying to work out where to go, you'd have to like look around the entire town. Plus I noticed some of the characters' facial features weren't exactly the part. I mean I don't mind bad graphics, but some of the characters' dialogue wasn't that good. But it's not bad, but not my type of game. Um but now we're on a dinosaur fossil hunter. So we'll continue this. That's not one done, isn't it? Oh, you're gonna make me look stupid. That's an Anki. Museum workshop. Ooh. We are slowly running out of space in the museum. Who'd have thought it has all started so innocently? When I was four years old, I loved to draw dinosaurs. I too love my dinosaurs. I mean, Oh shit. I loved Ark Survival Evolved. And Ascended. Um, a little bit of information on that series. Um, I haven't really figured out what else to do for it for now. Since it's just me playing it. And I feel like the gameplay's a bit boring. Like, from me that is. 
maybe sometime I could get to, to play with Adam. Yay! It was one of the most exciting days in my life. When I was eight, I found my first fossil. What am I doing? I lost it half a year later. Damn. At the age of 14, nearly all I could think about was putting together and painting dinosaur models. I was getting better at it. This one comes with a manual. It's dead simple. Oh, it's just cool ass. Do I gotta paint it? No. This one's tougher. There's no manual, but I have the sketch at least. God, this is so much fun. Oh, so I pick up the pieces myself and then... Put them in. God, I love this. We're making a T-Rex. Now's the time for the real fun. No manuals, no sketches, just sheer knowledge and skill. Bro, I know how to make a T-Rex. It's going to tell me how to make a T-Rex. Well. Let's just get the big... Let's just get the tails out the way of first, and let's done that. God, this looks very satisfying. Which is something I've never really said, like... I never really found stuff satisfying, but this is just amazing. I, I love it. Well, these are obviously the two legs, so... Oh yeah, made myself three ancient boys. Which is what me and my wifey call them. Maybe I could use more practice and build one of them again? Let's see... What difficulty level should I go with this time? No, I don't want to do it again. I even won a local talent show once. He loved my Triceratops. A couple of years later, the money I had received as a reward in that competition turned out to be of an invaluable help. Adventure of a lifetime in your 20s? Well, I think it's possible. I was exactly 20 years old when I found an article about a paleontological group in a newspaper. It turned out they needed volunteers who were willing to work in the north of the country. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to miss such a great opportunity. I 
took a risk and signed up for the job. As you probably imagine, it paid off. Gameplay tips, travel map. Okay, I'll figure it out myself. Maybe. Sign post against the excavation site. Use your chainsaw to move the road. What the hell, man? What about you guys? What I should be able to go. So I mean, they've actually got an NPC driving the car. That's like one thing you never see. There's a slim road ahead. Maybe press different potential. Maybe for a Bro, I just want to get to the goddamn excavation site. Oh my god! I didn't sign up. Okay, can I now go? Oh Time when there's no reverse for this game. Oh, why is back lens? What a weird thing to use it. Let's get straight to it. I'll figure it out, don't worry. We found an interesting rock somewhere. I bet you can just dig forever in this. That's pretty cool. I see something. Broke the game. Yeah, where was the sample? It said. It says the samples here, but. This must be it.
first inspect the stone. How? It's like a drone, what the hell? Okay, I understand that. How do I identify stones? Oh, you want me to pick it up? Oh, I'm going to pick this up? No. Oh. Hmm. This stone is in another period. What do I do with it? We bonkers. <laughs> Perform a visual inspect the stone is from another period, so bonk. Right, so I have found a fossil finally. First remove the muck from the stone. There is no bone in this rock. Damn. Right, so you do have to prop my leg. What? Form a visual inspection. The rock is empty. Bro, I don't know. Okay. Seeing as we've went over like an hour and 12 minutes now, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Free Game Demo. Um, sorry, it's been a quite a weird one. Like, I haven't... I thought it was going so well with Metamorphosis, which it was, and then, you know, I got these last two games and they don't really make sense to us. Um, yeah, I was going to dig a hole and I'm going to hide in the darkness. Why am I not allowed to do that, so... Um... I don't know. Um, my opinion on this game, it's cool if you like simulator games, which I do, but there's a lot of stuff to read and I would have to look into it on my own time to understand it. But if you like simulator games, I would say give this a go. It's a free demo, maybe you can get further than me. Um, I like the assembling mechanic, that was pretty cool. Um, Yeah, the whole the whole idea that you've got to like, you know, use these tools and you know scan the rocks, dig them out, inspect them, and take them back to your ca car and probably take them home and expand the museum sounds amazing. But, um, I don't think I can do it. But um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this free games demo. Free game demo, sorry. And I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye!